Hello and welcome to video tutorial number four. My name is Eamon Killian and I'm making a series of videos, um, short simple videos on how to get started using ibmsoftware.com um, and using software to be your infrastructure as a service uh, capability at your back end whether you're a web developer or a software developer or indeed a, a managed service provider. So, where we left the last video, tutorial number three, was that we had actually successfully installed and configured uh, a very vanilla configuration of an Apache web server and created a simple index.html file with, hi there, this is on software. And when we aimed our browser at the IP, public IP address of our virtual machine on software, we're able to see that we can serve up an actual very simple uh, one page in this instance website. So what I want to do in these videos and keep them short is to get to a little bit more detail to make this more real in terms of how you use software. So in video one we covered how to register, in video two a brief look at the customer portal and logged into the virtual machine for the first time. Video three I've just described we created an Apache web server and, and showed how we served up web pages. In this tutorial I want to get a little bit deeper. I want to cover how you actually move uh, more than just one file on there simply and configure a fuller or a more fulsome website. In this instance I'm going to use this website that I created in jQuery and HTML uh, which is a responsive website as you can see here that everything moves and responds in the way that you would expect uh, for an RWD design. Um, I want to move that website to our virtual machine here and serve it up from software. And hopefully once we've done that, I then want to go and show you how to link your domain name uh, that you've registered with a domain registrar. In my, my example here, I'm using GoDaddy. I want to show how you link your GoDaddy registered domain to your actual website IP address so that when people go to, in my instance here, xyzlimitedtest.com they will actually go to this IP address and be served up the website. So let's see if we can get that going. So the first thing I want to do is go into a terminal and I've actually moved in the tarred up file with um, this website on it into a tar file. Now it's made up of uh, a lot of files that actually make the website work. Um, obviously I'm using uh, Laura Mipsum here for the content of the website, but this could be any website with some menus, some contact information, um, and basically a site layout that, you know, a normal site web lay website layout. What I want to do is move that to software. So I'm going to take my tar file that I've tarred up, um, tar is the uh, Linux equivalent of a, like a zip um, and I want to secure copy SCP from my shell in on my local machine and we can see that this website is currently served up by my local host I want to move this by using SCP secure copy of the jQuery to and I'm going to use root at and then you type in the IP address of the actual software host. Just to finalize on this we want to put it into the home directory. Tilde is the home directory on Linux. In this case it will be the users home directory that we're putting it into. So when we hit return it will ask us for the password and hit return after the password and you can see it's starting to send the file over. So once that works its way through, we're going to log on to the actual machine, to the virtual machine at software, and we're going to move it to the correct directory, and then we're going to unzip it, and hopefully that will do. So it's just about finished now. There we go. So I'm going to secure shell in into our virtual machine. Here we go, and if I do an ls, there it is. 
I've successfully moved over a 10 meg tar file over onto our actual virtual machine at software. So we need to move that to the correct directory. So I'm going to move the jQuery file to var www.html. That's now moved it, so it's no longer in here. If I cd over into that directory, I can see I've got two files, the initial index.html and our new jQuery file. So I'm going to, in good fashion, move index.html to old.html index.html so I'm not going to delete the file just in case I need to go back and redo or re-put it back as the index.html if something should go wrong so it's, it's best practice just never to delete it until you're actually ready to delete it now I'm gonna untar which is xvf um, verbose mode and the f is for file the jQuery file there it is. If I do an ls, I now have a new directory, jQuery RWD. So in actual fact, I'm all my files for this site are in here. So if we cd into this directory, we can see they're all in here. The CSS, the documents, etc. And there's the index file. So now I've also noted that it's an index.php file. I haven't installed PHP on this machine yet, I don't believe. Nope, I haven't installed it. So what we will need to do is rename this file because I'm not using actual any um, PHP. I'm going to move index.php to index.html. I'm going to have a quick look at it because I'm pretty sure I haven't got any PHP in here. It's because I do an awful lot of PHP development that I automatically name these things PHP. So it's all on there. So hopefully now when I go to here and go to jQuery, oops, let me just go back again, jQuery minus RWD, J there it is running on our actual web server and it should all be responsive and there it is so that's now running on there successfully moved it over and it's all running so how do I get rid of this you know fairly clumsy IP address aiming at this well if we go to my domain in here, and this is the simplest way possible, you can register a domain with, um, let me get rid of this, you can register domains with GoDaddy. There's many, many domain registers out there. Um, I tend to use GoDaddy, so this is where their website looks like. Um, if I go into my account, I can see that uh, I can manage my domains. Give that a second. And here's all the domains I have registered. So I want to aim this domain at my actual software virtual machine. So how do I do that? Well, when I'm in here, I can actually go to um, oops, domains. Go to my domains. Oh, I'm already in there. Let's have a look at all the domains. And I want to edit this domain. Whoops, not my actual. Uh... Oh, sorry. Yeah, from here, I want to go into my DNS zone file. And this is where I want to edit. So it's currently pointing to this IP address. I actually want to edit this and I want to put in our web address which we knew as uh, 
I remember rightly. Whoops. Let's just make sure we know it. If I do an IF config on the actual machine, 1598.14.162. So I'm going to copy this, go back to here, and paste it in. Finish. This is now going to say, you sure you want to save that? And I'm going to save the changes. And that commits it now. And that could take, as it says here, up to 48 hours. To be honest, it never really does. It takes about 20 minutes maybe half an hour but it will aim towards it now what I did earlier to make this a bit more simple for us is if I go back to all my domains is earlier on just before making this I went to my other test domain ABC limited and I actually did exactly this in the DNS zone file and I aimed it to 159 now I'm hoping that we can now go to www minus abc oops dot sorry abc minus uh, test minus limited dot com whoops abc minus limited minus test let's do it this way Query minus RWD. Yeah, there it is. So we've now successfully redirected to ABC Limited. Let me see is XYZ coming in yet? That we just changed. And yes, it is. There it is. So the actual domain that we just changed, XYZ, is now aiming from GoDaddy through this zone file to our 159 and that's how you get a much better website secure copied over lots of different files over onto your software virtual machine and software serves up your website from your registered domain address it's aimed at the right place so nobody knows you're even on software but software is your back-end infrastructure as a service I hope this was useful. I've covered quite a few little things there. Secure copy, IP redirect, and putting on a uh, broader, deeper, bigger website onto software, onto your virtual machine. My name's Eamon Killian. I hope this video was useful. Thank you very, very much.